Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, for anyone who knows me, they will know, I will tell you, that I am the biggest art fan in the world. I love art. I love buying art. I love seeing art. I love finding new artists. And this artist is just gold, solid gold. Delmaine Danson is a 28-year-old artist and photographer from Cape Town who focuses her portrait work on celebrating the beauty of women of colour. She joins us today in the loft and she's brought some of her incredible artworks along with her too. Please do connect with us online if you've got any questions for Delmaine. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. Firstly, Delmaine Danson, even your name sounds like it should be in lights. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be such a star, my darling. When did you discover that you just got such an extraordinary, you know, way with a brush? I don't know, I was quite young when I started. Funny story, I used to paint or draw with a permanent cookie on yeah. the walls of our okay. house, on the my doors. My mother would have given you such a smack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was four years old, that's my earliest memories of really? like just starting to draw. But the funny thing is like, I don't know why I decided always to do it with a permanent cookie. I would do it with like on the walls, on the doors, on my shoes. Because you needed it to be permanent. Exactly, and yeah. I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, you sure. know, like, <laughs> Mom, but funny enough, it's like my mom obviously did not like it because she's like, girl, yeah. you are destroying my house. But then, lucky enough, I had a mom who was very, like, aware yeah. of what was going on around her. And well, she were was, your sketches good? Like, I as mean, a kid, were they, I mean. Funny story, I was in grade one and yeah. I was selling my pictures for two days. Yes. <laughs> and, and there was children that actually bought them from me. Can I tell you, Lionel Smith's father refused mm -hmm. to give him pocket money as yeah. a child. Well, I didn't get pocket money either. And said, paint paintings yeah. and sell them, and that'll be your pocket you have to money. Start, you have to do them while they're young. young. <laughs> oh, I love that. So you know what's going to happen one day, is yeah. you're going to go back and find those first drawings. I still have them in a file, in an oh, old file. <laughs> I still have them. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. When was the first time you sold a painting? When <sighs> you bought it? Sold. Okay, let me see. The thing is, I um, usually do paintings or yeah, digital paintings for yeah. people. So they would be like, they would ask me, can you do a painting of me yeah. or of my mom yeah. or of my wife and things like that. So probably uh, it was probably like something for somebody. Yeah. I can't exactly remember when, but it was probably a few years ago. I can't, I can't exactly remember. Well, I've I was done so many the, paintings. I was sitting at the hairdresser this morning yeah. and obviously I knew I was going to, to be here today yeah, yeah, yeah. to interview you. And I was sitting with, you know, foils or whatever in my hair <laughs> and this woman walked into the hairdresser. Yeah. She was so tall. Yeah. She had this massive dark afro yeah. and she just was the sexiest thing ever. Yeah, yeah, she was yeah, wearing yeah. this little top and this little waist. This, and she had these big hoops on, and I just looked at her thinking, wow, you're beautiful. You're a Delmain dancer. And that girl. is what inspires me. I, I, I'll be sitting hey, like and watching girl. people the whole time. <laughs> How do you choose the people that you paint? Are these all real women or do they come to you um, in your mind? A lot of the women that I paint live in my head. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I'm sure all the men are wishing that they were real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are like actual women, like yeah. women that I see on like Pinterest or on Instagram. So I would just be inspired by, by pictures of women with like big afros yeah. or like women that look very like embellished and things yeah. like that. So, but a lot of the women that I do paint, I would find inspiration from like different women. I would be like, okay, I like your hair. Yeah. I like the pose that you're in. I like the lighting that's on your face. I'm gonna combine them all together and create yeah. one painting. So that's how I usually, yeah. I wanna know about your love affair with these beautiful mm -hmm. women that you paint, because firstly, I think they are mm -hmm. tremendous. I think they are so beautiful. And yeah. I love that this is your signature look, yeah. celebrating women. Yeah. Um, and celebrating such incredibly diverse, mm -hmm. you know, beauty. Yeah. Why was that important to you, for that to be your permanent yeah. marker yeah. on the world? The thing is, I am such a girl's girl. Yeah. Like, I am always, like, I've, I always felt like I was like this advocate for women, even yes. when I was very but young. But you are. Yeah, I was raised by a single mother, yeah. and we were only girls in the house. Amazing. Some people would think like, oh my word, girls in the house, whatever, how do you handle I'm like, this was so much fun. First yeah. of all, we could walk around however we wanted. We didn't have to be fully clothed. <laughs> so we could do Stunning. whatever we wanted because I mean, it wasn't like boys in the house or anything like that. Yeah. But I think the love affair with painting women came from being raised by a woman. Yeah. With dark skin. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And the thing is a lot about 
the things about my mom, like obviously my mom's a strong woman, but one thing I did notice about her is that there was moments where she didn't feel beautiful in her skin because that was what she was told growing up. Yeah. So I was like, no, we need to do something about this, mama. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just feel like a lot of that comes from just this idea of, of, of celebrating the women that are in my life yeah. and the women that I do see, but they don't see themselves the way you no see No woman should ever not feel beautiful. Exactly. Ever. Exactly. So this is a really beautiful celebration and something else that I'm so tremendously proud yeah. of you about Thank you is... So there's an American company that has hired you to do all of the yeah. artwork. Yes. For, so, is it for a calendar or for No, a it was actually um, uh, for a brand called Curls Unleashed. Yeah. It's a natural hair um, yeah. brand. It's actually a, a common brand. We see it like in clicks and in Discam and whatever. And the funny thing is I used to sure. walk past these products like in this game while I was yeah. doing my shopping for my natural hair products and things like that. But the funny thing is I would have never thought that I would be redesigning and you the did artwork. all of the artwork for yeah, it. Yeah, I did all Incredible. of the artwork. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are so deserving of Thank your success you. and so talented. I mean, mm -hmm. how absolutely beautiful <laughs> are these paintings? Please do pop over onto our Twitter and our Instagram and our Facebook and let us know which is your favourite, how, mm -hmm. how do these beautiful paintings make you feel? We're absolutely obsessed with them. And, of course, we've asked you if you've got any questions for Dalmain. And Nanko Lomijita asked, what do you think of when you're painting? Good question. Food, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, a lot of people think that when you're an artist, it has to be this deep thing, you know what I mean? Like I'm going into the space inside of myself yeah. and it's just like a deep moment, I'm feeling sad. I'm like, this is just natural instinct to us. It's like somebody who's good at cooking food. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like you're going to be like going into this deep space inside of yourself. I'm like, I'm feeling this way today, so I'm going to cook this meal. Yeah. It's, it's natural instinct. So some moments I get inspired, I see somebody, I'm like, you know, that girl has beautiful dark skin. So then I'm, I'm inspired to paint something like that. It's never as deep. Maybe it's deep yeah. to somebody else because it's a different world, you know what I mean, yeah. from what they come from. But yeah, it's... it's I don't think of anything, I just paint. Listen, a lot of people, art is so personal that yeah. people see diff or feel different yeah. things when they look at it. Like, I, I love Picasso so mm -hmm. much, and I thought he, like, lived in 1910. Yeah. And only yesterday I discovered that he died in 1973. <laughs> so, I mean, it was super modern. Yeah, it's so, just, I mean, like just, it's just how you interpret romance yeah, behind exactly. art is just your own opinion. Okay, we've got another question from Reen Morizi asked, Hi, Dalmain, I also like photography, but I think I need more skills. Mm -hmm. How did you enhance your photography skills? I think it's just being open to learn and never think of yourself yeah. like I'm good enough already. You know what yeah. I mean? I feel did like... Did you do lessons or did you teach yourself? I... It was a long process. I was through the editing process first. That's what yeah. I learned first at the company that I'm working at. Yeah. It's, it, it took a while for me to pick up, but luckily enough, the company that I work at allowed me to take my time to learn. Yeah. But it also allowed me to discover my own style. My, my work is also woman of color so it's just like you know the brown skin girls and things like that but it's just yeah i feel like just take time with yeah. yourself and don't expect yourself to be on the level of somebody else if you just yeah. started no pressure give yourself the time sure. to learn because there is a world of yeah. things to learn it's just like and discover your own style also totally. that's that's important yeah totally so you might know that uh, the african art scene is huge internationally which means art is always a very good investment especially if it's local art so make sure that you visit our website and find out how you can also own your own domain thank you so much for being thank here thank you so much for having me <laughs> absolute joy i 